Now, since the beginning of the pandemic, COVID-19 has had several mutations, each one posing more questions about what could happen if there's an outbreak close to home. So here to talk more about this and help answer some questions about the latest mutation in the Omicron variant is the Director of Epidemiology Education at the School of Public Health for IUPUI, Thomas Dzinski. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Eyewitness News Daybreak. Good morning. Thanks for the opportunity to speak with you. So the first question we have for you is this Omicron variant. We've had multiple variants already. Of course, we're still talking about Delta. The, the, the COVID, vac or COVID rather virus seems to be mutating fairly fast. Is that correct? Is it normal for a virus to do all this? Yes, this is normal and it's what we expect to see, especially in an RNA virus. RNA viruses actually will mutate a little bit more quickly than say like a DNA virus. So this is normal. It's expected uh, for especially a new virus in the population. We don't know exactly just how uh, dangerous this one is compared to Delta just yet, but what are you guys starting to see? Um, and here, obviously, we know it uh, happened. There's a case in California, Minnesota, New York. What are we seeing in terms of just how potent this one is compared to Delta? Well, that's still yet to be determined. So. Most of the cases that we've seen so far in the U.S. at least have been fairly mild, uh, not nearly as severe as Delta, but more information needs to be collected on that before we can make a judgment and say, yes, this is going to be more severe, as severe or less severe than, say, the Delta variant. So when the vaccines first came out, we saw a, a, a drastic drop there uh, in the number of uh, positivity rates with people. And then these variants came out and now the numbers are going back up. What has differed with the vaccine versus when it first came out versus now that we're seeing all these breakthrough infections? So a breakthrough infection isn't that unusual either, especially in a vaccinated person. Uh, so we also look to what the virus is doing itself. So these mutations and variants, what they're doing, those, those mutations are there to try and give a viral advantage, right? We're trying to kill it. So it's, it's adapting to that and trying to figure out a way to stay alive and keep going. Uh, the, the breakthrough infections we're seeing in vaccinated people, again, is expected, but what we have to look at is the outcome, right? So if you are vaccinated uh, and you do get disease, uh, are you going to be hospitalized? Are you going to be put on a ventilator or unfortunately die from this? And for the most part, the answer is no. So the vaccines are still working very effectively, especially against the Delta variant. And the holidays, obviously Christmas, just a few weeks away, and then we have New Year's followed a few days later. What are your maybe recommendations for people gathering, especially those in the older population, as we get closer to the holidays in terms of getting together with loved ones? Yeah, the best recommendation right now is to be fully vaccinated and if eligible to get boosted. Uh, and you wanna give that about two weeks before the gathering because it takes about two weeks to develop full immunity or enough antibodies to protect you against disease. The second thing is um, <clears throat> maybe limit the number of people that you're gonna be in contact with. Have smaller group gatherings, right? Instead of having the whole family over at once, maybe break that up into a couple gatherings. Uh, so that we don't have uh, a bunch of people in the same room at the same time um, potentially spreading disease. Um, the third thing is, if you're going to be out and about, wear a mask, even if you're fully vaccinated at this point. Masks still provide great protection against the virus, uh, and, and they do work, especially in conjunction with the vaccine. And the final question we have for you right now is kind of a broad view here. You know, in the past, we've had measles, mumps, rubella, polio that we can say have essentially been eradicated, but then we still have the flu for hundreds of years. Where do you think COVID is going to fall in? Are we going to be able to eradicate it and be a thing of the past or will it continue? That's that remains to be seen. Uh, unfortunately, we we're not 100 percent certain on that yet. Um, like this particular virus, uh, was similar to a virus back in 2003, but and it's disappeared, right? It mutated itself out. That could happen with this, but more likely this is going to uh, mutate into something that will be similar to the flu, we believe. Uh, so it kind of comes around every year. You might have to get boosted uh, until we can get enough people in the population vaccinated to, to rid this. All right, Thomas Tuszynski, the uh, director there of education at the School of Public Health for IUPUI. Thank you so much for your time this morning. My pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity.